Sans Afrique, which translates as Direction Africa, is a Paris, France-based foundation grounded by Delphine Thibault in January 9th of 2004 in order to develop responsible tourism in Kenya, all the while supporting a villager's community in the district of Kwale. Kwale is located in a remote area roughly 33 kilometers south of Mombasa. A living elephant represents more money than a dead one. The conservation of the natural resources, or at least the durable management of these resources, must occupy a principal place in the total planning of the development of Kenya. It must, in the long run, stop poverty, malnutrition, and underdevelopment of the country. One of the means employed by locals to sustain themselves is the production of paper made with elephant dung. The footage you are viewing was filmed by Delphine in the National Reserve of Mwaluganje for the purpose of documenting one of her many visits to Kenya and the beautiful region of Kwale. An elephant consumes 4 to 6 percent of its body weight a five-ton male eats 300 kilograms of vegetation daily in order to digest only 44% of his alimentation. The rest is expulsed. This means that 160 kilogram of elephant dung can be collected daily to provide 200 pages of 100% sterilized and odorless recycled paper. The principal activity put in place in the sanctuary is a production of recycled paper from elephant dung. This paper is then sold to visitors at the entrance of the sanctuary. Monies earned in this manner is returned to the community for redistribution as payment for the rented lands or reinvested for the maintenance of the sanctuary. The principal three goals of Sans Afrique are, firstly, the production of high quality recycled paper made from elephant dung and to develop its distribution channels through organized workshops. Secondly, to develop interdependent responsible tourism, which creates a source of revenue for the communities living around the sanctuary. Last but not least, to develop the training of teachers and of students based on their natural resources, such as fauna and flora. The aim of Sans Afrique is to slow down the conflicts between men and elephants to preserve their ecosystem and that all these activities remain a source of revenue for the communities living around the sanctuary of Mwaluganji. The communities then become active actors within the Sans Afrique project in order to allow it to develop as their own. The successful implementation of these three axes, which are unit dependent of each other, makes it possible to transpose the same model into other countries which suffer from the same problems with their elephants. A major tourist attraction is the Sopa Lodge d'Amboseli, where Ernest Hemingway spent countless hours. One of his favorite pastime was to remain perched upon a rock, rifled by his side, gazing at the horizon in search of prey.
this favorite activity of his helped popularize worldwide the Swahili word safari.